make in history at CECC. And there it is! Both plays from the line and dip will take it home. What a game. Take a victory lap, take a bow, and take the headset off and start to yell. Wait, we didn't rehearse who's going to do the intro. Shibby, what are we doing? Oh, my God! <laughs> All right, off to a great start. Here we go. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to some wonderful ECAC Valorant action. It's the last week of the regular season. I'm Beautiful Crow. I got Shibby with me. We're going to be covering this wonderful, wonderful series for you all today. How are you feeling? Oof. Sun is shining. My place is bright. I'm in a new area again. No kitchen behind me this time, Crow. I got the wall. We're ready. And I, I'm, I'm ready for some Valorant action. Sea Val is very spicy this year. There's a lot of different sure. teams. We just had Winthrop actually qualify. A collegiate a collegiate team qualify for challengers of Valorant, which is crazy, right? Yep. Um, so, I, I'm, I mean, you know, you could be seeing the next C Valorant challengers players here. You never know. 
hey, it's possible. Look, it's spring is in full swing. It's in full effect. Um, like I said, last week of the regular season, we're going to have a nice little matchup here between the uh, second in our Elite Four division for uh, Valorant. It's going to be the current standing second seed, Farmingdale State, versus the current eighth seed, Valorant Maroon from EKU. Is this a uh, David versus Goliath matchup, or is this just going to go as a uh, all business as usual? What's what's the analysis? I'm going to be real here. Some of these CFL teams are ruthless, right? They don't care if you're an eighth sure. seed, a yeah. uh, tenth seed, your mom, your dad, your little cousin. No, they don't. They don't show mercy. And I think, you know, assuming that Farmingdale is going to be starting, putting their starting lineup in, assuming that they want to be ready and warmed up for playoffs, that's coming very, very soon. They'll take this map seriously. They'll take this series seriously. Yeah, I mean, it is a little bit of a David Goliath kind of thing, right? EKU definitely have their work cut out for them. Farmingdale, we've seen them before. They're dominant in league in the ECAC. They're dominant in Valorant, right? They are the ECAC uh, team, right? The, the college that you always see either in the finals, in the semifinals, making deep playoff runs. Not that I'm saying EKU can't do it. It'd be really cool if they could actually hey, it, upset it'd be sick. farming, it'd be right? Sick. <laughs> but we are actually gonna go to the first map, Seaval's favorite, Crow. Your and mine's most hated map, the Sims. <sighs> yeah, we're here. I mean, hey, it, it wouldn't be a Collegian Valorant map uh, pick ban without a scent just sneaking its way in first. Um, I mean. As long as they're getting out of the way, I'm, I'm chill with it. I'm chill with it. But, yeah, it will be a set coming on for the first map with Farmingdale. Choosing defense here, as you do see in the lower third, we'll have the others ones. And then uh, going second will be split. Farmingdale's pick, Eastern Kentucky, are going to also be starting a defense on that. With Sunset being the decider, should it get to that point? Um, I mean, it, it is a really tall order for this lineup to attempt to even get to that decider sunset. But I would love... To see it happen, I'm you know you know I'm all about the shenanigans. You know I'm all about the crazy gameplay. So seeing if EKU can stretch it all the way to map number three would be awesome. If they could do it in a two o, that'd be pretty ridiculous too. I would love to see it. Give me the chaos because we are waiting for everything to get loaded up and ready to go. And yeah, it should just be business as usual here for uh, FSC, right? They they should be able to just completely take the reins, get ahead early, and stay ahead. Because, like, I mean, EKU, they're literally 0-6. Like, no points. Big Fat Goose Egg chilling there to their name. And you could argue, it's like, ah, it's in a regular season. You know, we're playoff locked. doesn't really matter. We could, I don't want to say it, but the sandbag word. But, you know, they could just come in here, maybe try some new strats out, have some fun, whatever have you. Me, personally, I would just put pedal to the floor and just go all the way in not even give EKU 100%. a chance but hey i mean you know they're celebrating a birthday as well so they might as well have some fun with it yeah i don't know if they'll actually reveal any like different compositions necessarily i know ascent one of the most figured out maps right the sova the ko the the kj that kind of stuff right we'll always we see it it's it's a bread and butter composition some teams in the VCT across all the world have been experimenting with different stuff we have seen some uh you know like double initiator or double uh duelist here right with like rays and jet right dropping the ko or sometimes dropping the silva some teams are opting in to drop the killjoy which is very interesting right because the setups are so kind of figured yep. out at the moment i don't know if collegiate's gonna do that we probably will just game get that same set standard composition that we've been seeing on ascent but i'd like if farming Del were to have some fun or eku or to bring something new out to kind of counter the meta right i mean that's something that much more common in other games, right? But I think in Valorant, a lot less explored. Counter stratting, for sure, but I think countering specific cha or um, agent picks and countering those with different agents is a lot less common here. And, I, you know, if EKU wants to squeak out a win on this map pick, I think they can do it, you know, utilizing some of those different agents or under underutilized agents. Absolutely. And with that being said, we're going to switch over to the agent select scene so we can see exactly who they're going to be picking. It might just be the default going with it. You know, yeah, it, it, I doubt they're going to try and reveal anything too spicy <laughs> going into this. Jet, KO locked in. Yeah, it's going to be most likely going to be the mirrors across all sides. I, mean, I, I would love to see something cool, you know, just get something out. But Ace Ninja actually deciding maybe hovering over the KJ right now. I don't know if they're going to lock it in, but just go ahead and grab that out. But 
uh, Farmingdale. They're like, yeah, let's just let's just keep it 100. Let's let's not even joke around here. You know, let's go ahead and give give them the show them the reason why we are in the place <laughs> we are at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool if Pyro ends up instead of going for the Killjoy, goes for Cipher. I mean, a lot less. I would say damage focus, but you have a lot more utility with like the trips, the cages. There's some one ways you can uh, kind of throw on ascent here, similar to what Omen can do on this map. Obviously, it relies a lot more on the cipher to have better gunplay, right? You don't have your nades, you don't have a turret, you don't have these ways to watch. Uh, you know, these more like offensive-minded flanks with nades and stuff like that. Alarm bot as well. I do like the Cypher. I do like how it's been creeping up in popularity over, over the course of the year and over VCT, right? The buffs they gave it with the trips, oh, yeah. with the ultimate, right? Getting multiple ticks off that. I think it's really cool. We'll see what Pyro actually ends up locking in. I would like the Cypher. Why not? It doesn't reveal too much necessarily, right? And if this guy can play KJ and Cypher on this map, you can kind of keep other teams guessing and they are going to lock it in. So we're okay. not going to get a full mirror. Okay, okay, okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. The, uh, I mean, KJ just on this map has been so consistent and so good throughout the entirety like of her release, right? I mean, it just makes sense. Yes. The utility she brings, her ultimate is so nice, getting it in the perfect corner. It will can be a fight decider going into this. And I mean, yeah, EK, you want to try something a little different, you know? Make it a little bit spicy. But Farmingdale are going to come at them, you know, with <laughs> all the force of a raging bull to begin with. Maybe it's just more of a comfort idea to, you know, just establish some footing going into this because the early rounds are going to be kind of scary, like especially for EKU. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason that composition that we see consistently uh, is the best here, right? And there's a reason that you run this bread and butter composition, EKU, the executions, the, the, the wall hacks, right? You know, shooting through these paper thin walls on ascent, using the arrow, using the sonar, right? It's just, it's easy to have the placements and it's easy to have those lineups available here. As we do see EKU cheating towards this A push. Maybe they're expecting some aggression from Farmingdale and rightfully so, Tanuki is gonna peak and nothing's really gonna happen. So far, EKU are just taking it slow and steady right now. Okay, okay, and they're just chilling at the moment. Uh, looks like A side is the name of the game for the moment. It might just, you know, try and pull a sly little retake, but no. Tanuki will spot a few here with Sheriff in hand. Does get Ooh. detected. Hyde actually gets one. I see Newt for the second. And they, and they go ahead and finish out EKU full charging on the site. Oh no, FSC got caught off guard. Now, KU looking to go ahead and get themselves the first round. Yeah, sucks for Cypher, right? All your setups over at B, you gotta run <laughs> over. On. Yeah, it's like, all right, well, I, I guess this is useless. Um, I like that split kind of attack that they did onto this A site where you saw, oh, okay, so nice kill onto Pyro right out of swinging out the smoke and Supa's just gonna get spammed out here. But I really like what a EKU did on the pistol, right? They delayed the aggression. They split mm -hmm. both uh, lanes, essentially, for A. They went through main, and they went through a catwalk. Yep. And you saw what happened. I see Newt well, actually purposely got hit by the sonar. Yeah. Like, their, their, their ankles were broken. F, uh, <laughs> FSC were like, they were looking left, but they should have been looking right. And it was a really nice job by Hyde and I see Newt to just realize, wait a minute, we can, we can push forward on this. So, very good pistol round from EKU. I told you, they have to play pretty much on their toes the entire time the first few rounds opening with that pistol very good job on there fsc need to recover but Ooh. will this pace be beneficial more for eku well i thought they were going to try to spam through the wall there right because that's usually where those sofas end up playing we do have full bombs here oh my god i respect it super i get it you try to like maybe go for something cheeky Maybe get the orb if you can get it close to your ultimate, but yeah, gun advantage, Icy Newt's gonna take that. And now we should potentially see rotations coming out from Farmingdale as they know they're weak, kinda weak on the 